what it, what it is we're doing, we're, we're taking, taking youth deer hunting to get more kids in the woods because there's not a lot of kids around here these days that's hunting anymore. So we're, we're giving a kid an opportunity to go deer hunting. We put food plots in for them, got the land for them to hunt, and we just take, we took 60 kids deer hunting this year. We're having a, our fourth annual youth hunt. We had over 200 applications, and within them applications, we drew out 50 some kids. We've got them put out in all different farms, all through Sullivan County, Hawkins County, and East Tennessee, some in Greene County, and each farm has its own guide. And we've got so many kids hunting on each farm according to how big the farm and stuff is. We're trying to get more kids involved with the with the sport of hunting. The way everything is now, you got 75, 80% of your hunters are over the age of 40. And if we don't get our young kids involved, then the sport of hunting is gonna die in a few years. Good shot, girl. <laughs> keep kicking. I read a a story a long time ago, and uh, it was about a, a girl that had went hunting with her father, and she got to enjoy her father's last hunt that he ever hunted on because he died shortly after that they went hunting. And and to me, I've enjoyed my kids' first deer hunts and then hopefully one of these days they'll be with me when I do my last one. two does. <laughs> Y'all doubled up, didn't you? Yeah. It's pretty awesome to double up. You don't get a lot of chances to, to double up. And words can't describe how I feel to be able to take my daughters out and take them hunting and, and enjoy nature with them. And the fun and the, the stuff you share and, and blinds and shooting houses and on the tree stands and stuff with your kids, words can't describe. I've tried to show my girls how, how great it is out in nature. And, and they've experienced the, when nature comes to life in the mornings with the squirrels waking up, coming up, and the deer coming out in the fields and easing through the woods, they've experienced all that. And that's an experience that only a, a hunter and an outdoorsman can experience. You can't experience that sitting on the couch or sitting behind a computer or a video game. You, you've got to be out in nature and that's where these kids need to go. If, if you teach your kids to hunt, you won't have to be hunting your kids. It's a lot of work, but it's, it's worth it. I mean, I wish that when I was young that I'd had somebody that would have done this for me. And I believe if there would have been somebody that would have done it, we would have had more kids today in the woods hunting. Well, I was with my son Aaron. Uh, me and Aaron's been hunting together now for about uh, I'd say four or five years. Uh, Aaron's taken a couple deer. He shot a big doe today. Uh, 
a good little shot. I mean, he's he, he's worked on it with me. He's he's put the time in with me. He's come down here and helped us with the food plots and everything. He's just learning the outdoors. Yeah, it was quick. That that that's the food source. When you put the food for the deer, they come and eat it. And, and for kids, you know, you don't want to make them sit all day long and, and they get tired, they get bored, then they lose interest. And then once they lose interest, then it just it becomes a drag to them. You know, kids, you got to keep them, keep them in active and everything else. I challenge everybody in their area to take every every youth that they can, hunt. because without our youth coming up, within 10 years they won't be no hunt. It, it's it's simple. I mean, it's a lot of work. You know, you got to get the land. You can call around and people will help you with the money part of it. It's not that hard to do. You, we just put applications out. The kids filled them out. Their parents filled them out with them. They sent them in. We had a drawing process. Uh, we took kids from the age six to 16. Uh, I think the oldest one we had was 14 years old. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Well, honey, I appreciate you letting me go with you. Okay. I had fun, real fun. Why is it so soft? Well, honey, that's their winter coat. Uh, they shed their summer coat for the winter time. That's what keeps them warm. That's why it's so soft. It's the down. They get rid of their summer coat and they go into their winter coat and it's a lot softer. Oh. It's hollow and it holds air in it to keep them warm. Mm. And we say, let's pack her up and let's take her on home. Okay. All right. Love you. Love you too. Get involved with your local organizations like QDMA or Quail Zone Limited or her a bunch of your local organizations in a lot of towns like we've got Appalachian Whitetail Association, the Outdoorsmen, them here, are, we got local clubs here that, that people can get involved with and then they take kids hunting and, and really involved with kids. So you don't have to know nothing about hunting yourself to take your kid hunting. You can get involved with these other clubs and you can learn while your kid learns.